What is going on guys, Payne here today, back with another video, and I know it's been a while since my last upload, but I can't guarantee I'll be back frequently uploading. I've said that I'm going to be back a bunch of times, but I can't guarantee anything currently. But I will try to upload like I said, and it's been like three months or four months since my last upload. But either way, enough with the excuses, let's just get into today's exploit, which is for Blocks Fruit. It's pretty much an auto farmer for the game, it allows you to find whatever fruit you want in the game, or multiple fruits if you wish to specify. Before we get started guys, as always, if you want me to upload more exploits, and if you want to keep up with all the best exploits for every single game that come out, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, turn notifications so you never miss out. As always guys, head over to cheat.gg for the best Roblox exploits once you're in here you can pretty much find script executors farmers guis hubs every single thing you want for every single game almost and if you do have something that's not on the site go ahead and upload the site all you have to do is log in with google press submit cheat and once you submit cheat you can submit for any of these games and whatever you wish to submit once you submit this site it will go into review once we have reviewed your submission and consider it safe and approve of the content they will, will accept your content onto the website once it's on the website you will have your own private individual profile like so and everyone can see what you've contributed to the site with and as far well, guys we are looking for blocks root fruit finder all you have to do is look on the website for it or just search for fruit finder like so once you've located blocks roots fruit finder go ahead and download this file once you've fully downloaded it just open up the file and you will have to do a few things in here now before you jump off your seat because you just saw code and you have no idea on how to do any lure whatsoever don't worry this is pretty much pure english and i'm going to explain all of it basically all the script is doing is setting up toggles definitions variables and so on in the global environment for the exploit so in this case we have a variable called fruit and it's just a toggle as it says right here it is outlined with comments that you can just say do you want to turn on the fruit or not so this is basically saying do you want to turn on the farm or not so then if you do have that on you will go to the second part and say well what are we farming in this case it's going to say fruit one and fruit two as an example i don't know the fruit names so i'm just copying that example up there and just going to go with this fruit so to add more fruits all you have to do just come up from the last one and just add whatever fruit you want in here it's that simple and you can farm all the fruits if you wish to do so. Next, it will ask you if you want to use a webhook. A lot of you may not know what a webhook is if you don't do any development whatsoever. And this is to do with Discord. Basically, all this is saying is, do you want to get notified on Discord when I do get a fruit with a script? If you do set that to true, then it will notify you. Now, auto eat, self explanatory, as it states here, it just automatically eats. What matters with use webhook is a webhook URL. And if you don't know how to generate one, I will show you that right now. All you have to do, Head over to Discord. So in a new server or your own server, it doesn't really matter what server it is. Once you've decided the channel you wish to get notifications in, go ahead and edit the channel. Then head over to Integrations, Webhooks and create a webhook right here. Now you can customize this webhook if you wish to do so, or you don't have to at all. It doesn't really matter. But you can choose where this webhook will post to. But obviously in our case, it will be general. And we'll just copy this webhook URL right here. And that's how you set up a webhook. Next, we'll just paste it in the strings. Make sure you paste it in the strings like so. And there you go. This is my webhook. Obviously, don't try to mess with it later because it won't exist anymore. But that's my webhook for now. And the last thing, just ignore it. This just loads in all the content to do the auto farming stuff. Now we've done everything. And pretty much what we have to do now is execute the script. We don't want to execute the script only once. We want to execute it over and over and over and over again until we get our fruits and many more fruits if we wish to do so. Now to do this, we're going to have to save this file. So go ahead and just save this file. Now, Drag this file into your auto execution folder for your exploit. In my case, I'll be using Sentinel. So Sentinel has an auto execution folder right here. I just have currently a file. You can ignore this. It's just pretty much just the ones that it's injected. Next, what you wish to do is drag the file that you've just saved that has all the content with everything to do, if you should post and where to post, etc. Drag that into your auto execution folder. Next, you need to start your exploit. So in my case, I'm using Sentinel, like I said, and Sentinel has the auto attach feature right here. You won't need it if your exploit supports teleports. It will automatically attach once it teleports and this is all in your exploit. Obviously, if you wish to get Sentinel, link will be in the description. It's only $15. It's one of the cheapest and the best script executors on the market right now. So go ahead and copy yourself a copy since V3 is coming out soon. Next, what you wish to do is just head over into Blocks Roots. <laughs> notice straight away once you have joined it will keep joining new servers and it's doing exactly what it needs to don't worry about it it's not a bug it's not breaking sentinel is quite quick when it comes to these things but pretty much all it's doing is 
go into your server, check if that server has the fruit. If it has the fruit, it will spawn you in and it will grab the fruit and then server hop and continue to get all the stuff. Obviously, in this case, you might say these things. So if you send to teleport too fast, you might say it's teleporting. You'll try to teleport again if the server is full, if it's trying to send you to a full server. Just ignore it. Let it do its thing. But you guys can see Sentinel is insanely fast to attach, insanely stable. You won't crash for you and you will keep server hopping and executed. So when it comes to auto farmers like this, Sentinel wins hands down and you can find insane amount of fruits. So go ahead. As I said, get yourself Sentinel with V3 being even faster than version 2. It will be amazing and insanely fast. Oh, what the hell can I do? server hops and does exactly as the name suggests it searches for fruits and once it finds its fruits it notifies you it's that simple there's nothing else to the script as you guys talk about that quick time lapse it just keeps server hopping over and over and over until we find your fruits and continue so but since we didn't find anything we then get notified that was simply a quick tutorial to show you guys how to use the script and what it does anyway guys as always if you did enjoy this don't forget smash the like button and if you made it to the end guys go ahead and claim the promo code on my robux site where you can earn free robux by doing offers playing games and so on for five free robux the promo code is fifth go ahead and redeem five free robux to your robux account and if you wish to purchase cheaper robux than robux's rates for almost half of the price go ahead and cop yourself some from here anyway guys as always this was pain and i'm out peace